hello again everybody welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm going to show you how i depotted all of my bronzers and pressed powders into palettes so that i can stop carrying around all these compacts because i have so many of them so i'm going to show you today how i depotted these and placed them inside of my makeup forever palette So be careful with this lighter because you do need a lighter to get the, the um, powder out of the compact. You need that tweezer to push it out. And these are the Scotch Clear Mounting Strips. And that's what you're going to use to place on the back of the compact um, powder. Here's my Hula Light Bronzer and I just took the bronzer and I just broke the box and this is what I came up, came out with. It had a little bit of paper on the back and all I did was scratch that off. So here I am showing you how I did it. I took each corner and I just broke it. I broke it down. Then I bent the, the, the corners outwards so that it could loosen up a little bit. But just be real careful because if you do it too hard, you'll crack your bronzer and you don't want to do that because they do cost a little bit of money. So as you can see, I'm taking the tweezer and I'm gently placing it between the bronzer and the cardboard because when you do that you can feel where they glued it down so all I'm doing is working it around the perimeter of the bronzer and just to get that nice and loose and be careful with the tweezer I'm getting ready to show you um, I have my thumb and my pointer finger in the middle of the tweezer so that the top of the tweezer won't poke a hole in the bronzer so as you can see I have my thumb placed right there between the tweezer and then I place my other finger on the other side to secure it some more and then I just go around around and around until it loosens up and then I twist it off And there it is all twisted off and so I just flip the back around and I begin to peel that piece of cardboard off that's stuck together with some glue and it's pretty easy to come off just take your time So now I'm depotting my MAC pressed powder and it's in the shade translucent. And with this one, if you look closely, it's a little teeny opening where you can pop that tweezer inside of there and just work the tweezer around the area of the compact and then twist it a little and it'll click right on up. And 
and there it is I heard the click so I just lifted the powder out of the compact and now you can take it and turn it around and that's where you would heat up the back of that plastic to pop the um, translucent powder out please be very careful with this lighter I do not encourage any miners to do this The only reason I'm doing it this way is because I don't have a Z Potter. And just know I am being very cautious doing this. Now these MAC compacts, the plastic is very hard and it's very difficult. So just be patient. And when you're trying to pop it out, you have to place the tweezer up a little bit and then just pop it out really gently and it'll come right out. And look at all of that glue. Mac really made sure that this powder wasn't coming out. Now the CoverGirl bronzers, this took literally about maybe 10 seconds for it to come out. All I did was peel the paper part off because you don't want to light that part up. So I peeled it off, put the lighter under there for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then it popped right out very easily. So the same thing goes with these MAC powders as well. And these are my Studio Fix press powders. And you just do the same thing with that. Be careful, that is very hot. And so now all you have to do once you have all of your bronzer or foundation pans popped out just take a little bit of alcohol with some paper towels and clean all of the makeup off that's in the back of it because it is some powder in the back of it and you want it to be able to stick to the the scotch tape and your makeup palette so just make sure you clean the backs off really well. And then you can stick as many as these um, scotch tape squares on the back of your pans as you like. I only did about one or two depending on the size of them because they're very sticky and they're double sided. So it gave me a good grip so they shouldn't be sliding around at all. Thank you. 
and I just took the backing off of it and if you like you could write the name of your product on the back with the marker just so you'll remember what it is but I have another method of how I like to organize my my palettes I just print out what the product is I print it all on a sheet take it to staples they laminate it and then I just glue it right to the back of my palette and then that way I don't have to lift them up and just to see what shade it is or what product it is and I'll show you that in another clip maybe a what's in my makeup kit video I'm not sure if you want to see that just let me know comment down below but yeah this is what I do and I just wanted to show you right here that these hula bronzers they already come magnetic so it sticks really well to the makeup forever palettes so if you don't want to you don't have to put the scotch tape on there but i just did anyway for added security and this right here is my becca multitask multitasking powder and it's a uh, metal and then it's like a hard plastic like very hard rubbery plastic and all i did for this one was I lit the center of the compact and it got soft really fast but the weird thing about it is it didn't burn a hole through it but I was still able to push out the refill so I just pushed a hole through it and it came right out. And as you can see it's no hole whatsoever it just got really soft and it came right out so you can do these Becca powders as well and this is just me showing that you do have to take some time to peel these this glue off the back of some of these bronzers especially the hula bronzers but it's nothing hard at all. Now here I'm just basically continuing to prep the back of the refill bronzer and just getting them ready to go all inside of the palette. And I like to clean off the back as well as the sides because once you get them out, you'll see that it's pretty, pretty dirty and I'm a stickler for cleanliness, so I just make sure everything is like nice and clean and sanitized before I go and put it into my palette. So now I'm just taking off the backing of the double-sided square tape and I'm just adding the rest of my bronzers to this palette. And you want to make sure you position them the way you want them before you stick it down. Because once you stick these things down with this scotch tape, it is very, very hard to get off. Not really hard, but they're very, very secure. You can go up under there with um, a spatula or something like that and you can lift them up. But once they're down, they're very, very secure. So just make sure you lay them gently before you finalize where you want them to go and then just press firmly down on the outside of your bronzer so that you won't crack it. And 
Now I'm just doing the same thing. And right here, this is why I told you to be careful because I kind of cracked it a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. And so I said, okay, time to slow down and take my time because this bronzer costs a little too much for me to be repurchasing because yeah, I don't like my products falling apart inside of the palette. I'll, I'll repurchase it. But um, yeah, so try not to crack it too hard on the sides to get it loose because it will crack. So I had a fine little hairline crack in it, so I stopped. And I made sure I just laid it down before I peeled the paper off because I didn't want to put any more stress on the on the bronzer so that it can come out and come off easily. So here we are. I got them all out and I went from all carrying around all those eight boxes and packages of my bronzers to just this simplifying it into this one palette so i encourage you to do this but do it safely i don't encourage any miners to do this because you have to be careful using a lighter or if you are a miner um make sure you have an adult around you and that will supervise you and i would recommend you using a z potter and not a lighter um, but yeah, I love the way everything came out and I'm in the process of organizing my kit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe.